lighting. Do we like it? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new. My name is Brooke. I go by BB Lynn on Instagram. For today's video, I thought we could talk about all of my 2021 favorites because a year ago to the date, that this is being posted i posted my 2020 favorites so it only seems fair to do 2021 so i'm gonna talk about all things fashion beauty maybe some apps whatever comes to my mind that is my 2021 favorites we will be discussing i have my matcha that i made let's just get right into it Okay, so starting off with fashion. I feel like fashion should be first. Talked about it last time. These are one of the most worn pants in my closet. I didn't even know that I needed them in my life, but once I purchased them, I understood the hype. I'm sure you guys are already kind of guessing what they are, but they are the TikTok famous Aritzia Molina pants. Okay, let's zip that up. These are the Molina pants in just black. Um, I'm actually not sure of the length. I know they have different lengths and I'm not sure which one this one is, but it's a size US 2 and I think this is perfect for me. I wore these so much. I continue to wear them. I'll probably wear them later today. I think they look so good with just like a basic tee, a sweatshirt, I'm going out with a corset. Whatever it may be, I feel like these pants are the go-to. and These pants really are one of the best investments. They're a little pricey, but honestly, it's worth it. So if you want like a good pair of leather pants, these kind of feel like leggings, but they don't fit like leggings, if that makes sense. They have like a nice little bag to them. I'll put some examples here of kind of how I've styled them. I have tried leather pants from like other brands. I'm not gonna say who, cause I don't wanna like roast them, but they're not good. They smell like fish. They don't fit right they are just kind of gross to be honest um and these are perfect so aritzia molina pants i want them in every single color they have so many colorways so um highly recommend these but these were these are a staple forever forever and ever these will be my favorite okay and speaking of leather also there's a train coming by i live near a train station so if you hear him honking and hooting his horn that's who it is. I feel like I wore this also a lot. I'll put some examples. Um, it is my leather blazer. I Every time I wear this, without a doubt, I get compliments or questions of where I got this. This one is actually from Revolve. It's like about a year or two old now, so I'm not sure if they have the exact same one. If they do, I will of course link it. But this one's by, I'm gonna butcher the name. Majorelle or yeah I got it in a size extra large and it fits perfectly again I'll put pictures I wear this all the time in all of my outfit pics on Instagram this is my go-to again with a basic white tee if I'm going out it's not necessarily like a jacket but it's a blazer so I feel like it just elevates your look just a little bit more than a normal leather jacket would um kind of obsessed with this so with that being said found a another one at a thrift store in Joshua Tree. Um, it says that this one is from Macy's in the men's section, um, but that's kind of where I get most of my blazers. If, if you go to like a thrift store, any thrift store, Goodwill, Savers, whatever you guys have in your local area, go to the men's section and look at the blazers. You're gonna find all of the best oversized blazers ever. So anyways, I found this one and it's very similar to that one, but I like this one because it has like the button detailing, it has a little pocket. I like the way this one fits just a little bit more than that one, but that one will always be my favorite too. So yeah, I will link some dupes or similar ones down below. Princess Polly actually has an exact one of the Revolve one and I have it also and it's beautiful and it's great so i'll link that one down below use code bblin for 20 percent off leather blazers are the go-to i wear them every season in summer winter fall they are beautiful perfect love i love leather blazers so much it's you need to have it in your wardrobe like if, if you have like a good pair of denim and some basics you need to have a leather blazer get one so this is a trend i didn't necessarily think i would end up loving and being obsessing over but i've become a hat person i am obsessed with street style and 90s style and 
Hailey Bieber and Kendall Jenner, all of those people that are kind of that boyish, tomboy, cool girl aesthetic. So hats have been kind of my new accessory to style up with something. So right now I'm wearing like a basic white tee and some jeans and honestly throwing on one of these hats is just gonna elevate it to a little bit more of a street style look. I get my hats just from anywhere. This one is from eBay, Von Dutch, obviously. Gotta bring back classic. Um, this one I always get questions about. It's just a New York Yankees hat in green and they actually have so many colors. I want like the blue, I want pink. I feel like just a basic baseball or sports cap is always perfect. Okay, also story time, dramatic story time. So one time I was wearing this out when I lived in LA and I guess there's, I don't know anything about sports so please don't come for me, but I guess Dodgers and Yankees have some beef and I wore this out and a guy straight up cussed me out in front of everybody and I didn't even know what to say. I was in shock and so just FYI that might happen. I actually saw some TikToks of some girls saying the same thing about wearing like a sports jersey hat so just be aware that men are annoying and they'll probably come yell at you. This one just like a really cool, I loved the colors on this. I love it. It's green at the bottom. I got this one on Depop. So Depop and Etsy and eBay have been my favorite places to shop for vintage thrifted stuff. So I just put like vintage baseball cap and scroll around and find some favorites. This one is actually from PacSun. So this is like obviously a boys cap it has like whatever, but I just think this is like so cute. It's a little tight right now, but like just a basic tee, some gold hoops. I got my jeans. Like I feel like this is a look. I am obsessed with this. Maybe some people don't think it's cute. Maybe people think it looks weird, but I love it and I hate my hair like 80% of the time. So being able to hide it in a really cool trendy hat is worth it to me. So I have so many hats. I look like the typical like boy in high school that has like all of his sneakers and all of his hats in the closet. That's me. I have become a sneaker hat head. Okay, and sticking into that same trend of streetwear and tomboy style, last year I talked about my Nike Air Force Ones and I feel like that's when they became all the rage. I discovered that Nike actually has a custom section on their website. So I custom made these ones. I'll link that down below. It's kind of like Build-A-Bear for like sneakerheads. It's so fun. You can pick the colors. You can even change like the little logo in the front, logos in the back. You can do whatever you want. Um, they don't have too many colors yet, but I feel like that might change. I actually haven't checked since I've done it. So maybe there's some new um, colors, but I chose these and I feel like they describe me perfectly. This is the perfect everyday shoe. I wear this pretty often. Again, white tee, jeans, this, you're done. Even with the Molina pants, leather pants, white tee, this with like a really cool sweatshirt or a graphic tee. Like I'm obsessed with these. I'm really proud of these. I definitely wanna make another one. I'm not sure what color I'm gravitating towards. I feel like green or blue would be really cool and fun. But yeah, you can custom make your own Nikes, you guys. So I definitely think you should do it and be different. Try these, these are really cool. And I don't think it was even that much more expensive than normal Nike Air Force Ones. So I'll link it down below and let me know if you make your own. I think these are so fun and unique and different. Yeah. I mean, that in-between part of um, your hair, like I got it cut a little bit before the holidays and now it's kind of like grown out and it isn't really doing its thing anymore. So yeah, I'm in that awkward phase of hair. So please ignore. But speaking of hair, obviously this was a big trend. I feel like every store and a lot of new, I guess I'll just say it, clips, um, a lot of clip brands emerged this year um, during the pandemic and stuff. But yeah, clips have been um my favorite thing to wear the thing is i have really thick hair that 80 percent of these don't even fit into my hair but i like to clip them onto like my purse or if for some reason my hair is dirty and it's working and it fits in the clip i'm so happy about it these ones don't fit in my hair but they're so cute i had to buy them i mean there's so many clips everywhere like i'll link some 
examples down below. Even Amazon, like they have the generic clippies. I know Princess Polly sells these ones. Obviously, MEJ is killing it right now. What a smart idea to make a clip like cool trendy clips. I wish I thought of that. I'm pretty jealous of her, um, but hers are, I will say the Chanel of hair clip. I can tell the quality difference between this guy and this one. There's something about this one that just like feels more expensive. I'm obsessed with these. I know Revolve also sells MEJ. And then my best friend for Christmas got me this one with my name on it. It is stunning, gorgeous. I'm obsessed. This one actually does fit in my hair so I can wear it up, but Hair clips are just another way to elevate your look. Um, I also love this one for like spring and summer, even like when you're tanning in a bikini. These ones are so cute. I actually saw some that were like teddy bears and I was like, that's gonna be the next big one. Cause I feel like these were, these were big for a little bit, but the teddy bears, that's gonna be a vibe. Yeah, hair clips are so cute. I'll attempt to put it in a thing for you. Okay, so I normally just put some parts down and then I feel like there's no right or wrong to put your hair in a clip, right? And then I twist and then we'll put this guy, we'll attempt to put it in. Oh my God, wait. Oh my God, how cute. I feel like that never, it's probably because my hair is like kind of dirty right now, but I love like all the little hairs in the back. It just makes me feel like Liz McGuire vibes. Maybe I'll leave it like this for the rest of the video. What do we think? It's cute, but I like that it's out of my face now, so. Okay, you guys, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is shocking to me. So I have loved this item since I was a little girl. Um, back in like early 2000s, everyone had this. It was like my dream. I think it's timeless, it's classic, it's beautiful. So saying this, I did not think my boyfriend would be listening and actually take note because he got me the Tiffany's heart necklace and I'm shook. It's the most expensive thing that I have, which is surprising for me because I'm in fashion. You guys, I thought he was joking. It's so beautiful. I refuse to wear it every day because I'm just like so protective of it, but I know I have to wear it. But you guys, how freaking cute is that? Oh my goodness, it's just like stunning. I love it. I need to get some silver hoops to kind of match this because I'm not a big fan of mixing metals, to be honest. I tried it during Christmas, didn't love it. So I definitely need to get some silver hoops for when I want a silver moment. But I think this necklace will come out during, you know, like, special occasions, birthdays, going out for a nice dinner. It's one of those necklaces. It's not an everyday necklace because she needs her own moment to shine. That has definitely whoop, went straight to the top on my favorites list. Um, it's my prized possession now. So I'll be wearing this for the rest of my life. And I think it's, again, very timeless and classy. Um, I mean, it's Tiffany's slow. Enough said. Going into beauty now, I don't have too much beauty to talk about because I kind of have been using the same ones. But last year I talked about the Kylie blush stick. I'm still using, I think honestly, the same one. A little does go a long way. So if you um, are still interested in this, I still think you should purchase this. But I know she's like revamping her site and stuff. So now this is like basically a collector's item. So yay for me. Still love this, use it. But I have found other blushes that I'm obsessed with. So this one right here is from ColourPop. It is from the Sailor Moon collection. And yes, I bought it purely based off of the fact that it's Sailor Moon. The color itself. Oh my God, I've always wanted to be a beauty guru. Hold on. So cute, has little kitty cat Luna on there. This color, it looks very scary, but I'm wearing it right now. And it's my favorite everyday blush. I love this. I need to buy more in case for some reason they decide not to make this one. I, again, little goes a long way. I barely put like my, I go like that and just whoop. And I think it gives the most beautiful color. Everyone's skin tone. I've seen this on like so many people that I know and it's stunning so get this i feel like this really complements this these are kind of my everyday merit beauty just in general has been one of my favorite brands i've tried all of their stuff that they have it's like an everyday kit and it's 
so good um but this is also their little blush and this also has been every day to be quite honest with you i probably wear all three of these every day i just layer until i like the color that i'm getting but this one is cheeky um and this is a must merit beauty in general you need to buy all of their stuff mascara all of it it's so good but yeah blush has still been my favorite um it's i can't believe that i never really wore blush like i do now like i must have looked so pale and now looking back in photos i can see the difference of blush and non-blush me if i was on an island how to bring like two products it'd be mascara and blush and then speaking of mascara i have tried so many mascaras this year i honestly believe i've tried maybe 10 different mascaras this year i was trying this one which was my go-to for a while it's drugstore it's great but i noticed it was just drying and flaking and it was getting all over my face throughout the day didn't like that anymore so i've tried a few and merit beauty mascara is definitely up there but this one selena gomez rare beauty killed it with the mascara with the application um with the wand all of it i love the way that my mascara looks and lasts all day um this one's just the black regular mascara trust me when i say i literally have tried so many mascaras i'm not going to call them out because one of them i really had faith in and she's my favorite girl in the world but that mascara was not it and so this one is it okay and speaking of merit beauty going back to merit beauty and how i was saying it's the best their lip gloss which i'm actually wearing right now is actually so good and i wanted to buy it the other day and it sold out which means everyone loves it also this is the all natural lip gloss and it's there's nothing in here i'm just still using it pretending that stuff's coming out um but i know last year i said tower 28 is my favorite gloss still is i love it i just actually haven't purchased it in a while for some reason because i did get a lot of pr packages this year for lip glosses and beauty very thankful for that so i was able to try new stuff and this one is definitely on my top list i love the color that it gives it feels very natural speaking of the name all natural I just love like this pink color it's very pretty everyday wear does not dry me out that's i'm so picky with my lip glosses and stuff as soon as i feel any sort of matte or drying done you're done to me you're dead in the trash garbage you're done so this one does not give me that effect so i promise you guys this is really really good merit beauty in general like if you guys are watching this like i'm one of your biggest fans commits like so good going into tech i guess is fun phone cases so this one's actually from casetify i love that it looks like stickers and it just reminds me of like the days when i was growing up in like the 90s and 2000s and when lisa frank was all the rage um i feel like all of my notebooks kind of look like this and i'm obsessed so this is from casetify and i feel like phone case brands also blew up this year in the pandemic there's all of these brands i'll list them here princess polly i know i could talk about them a lot but i swear they are killing it on all the trends they're quick to it and they just get it so princess polly has some good ones obviously wildflower cases there's so many good ones but yeah i always change out my case like every couple months because i just feel like it's so fun and when you take mirror selfies it kind of just like changes the whole vibe so this is my vibe for right now i feel like this kind of was fitting into january feb um it feels very like save the earth 2022 goals i will say like side note another obsession of mine has been like teddy bears and so anything with the teddy bear i'm like done add to cart so i saw teddy bears and that's why it's in here but yeah um phone cases phone phone cases these ones i love case defy though because i feel like it's reliable i drop my phone all the live long day and i feel like this it never cracks so case defy not sponsored they sent this to me i wish i had a code for you guys i'll link it all down below if i somehow get a code i will also add that last year i think i talked about cooney cam and video leap i'm pretty sure and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, those are still my favorite apps. So I have no new apps to share with you guys besides those two. So Cooney Cam and Video Leap. 
Um, everyone asks how I get like this kind of film effect or grainy effect all from Kooni Cam. I pay for the premium subscription because they have really good filters and I feel like it deserves premium subscription. I guess I can kind of show you another quick tutorial since you guys love my editing tutorials. So I will just grab a little picture I took yesterday in the snow. Um, and I will go to edit and the grain option on here is great. You can do like this fancy option or you can do like a basic option. So I just go into basic and then I just add that green up, you know, 20 sounds good. 3D is also a tool that kind of gives you that like, you see how it does that, like really cool film effect i guess so i just do a little bit on that like three i don't want it too like blurry you can also add some dust in here so sometimes i'll add that to make it look see how it just like made me look dusty um there's that and then you can also add like the date and stuff all of these little guys if you just keep clicking the aa um just gives you all these cool little options so i like to add the play or you can add this that kind of gives you the film effect too and you can change the sizing and then the filter i like to use is kd and i feel like again that also helps with like that film effect um i like the way this looks but if you want even more film looking i go in with fade and kind of fade it out a little bit you can go into color and i feel like whenever there's film photos there's also like a greeny effect so i click that and kind of play with that and there you go there's my before and after i will save that and yeah there's your little film effect photo. So Cooney Cam is just the go-to, it's the best. It deserves that premium subscription, I promise you. Everything that I edit on my TikTok or Reels is all through Video Leap, and I also have the premium subscription for that. I'm not gonna give you a full editing tutorial on Video Leap because that's gonna take a very long time, but Video Leap is just like iMovie or any sort of video editing app. I like it better than Splice, I feel like it makes a little bit more sense to me it feels a little bit more like to the point versus splice feels a little bit more kind of like final cut pro like expert level so if you are looking to edit your videos i highly recommend video leap there's a lot of cool options on video leap so don't sleep on video leap it's really really great oh my gosh i have a new app for you guys actually i lied so i found this new app called lens buddy it's the best for if you are a content creator or if you just want to get some cute photos of yourself like no one's judging before i was doing it with the tripod and had the remote and i would have the remote in my hand and i would have to hide it or like edit it out and it was so annoying and then i actually hung out with another content creator and she goes you need to be using lens buddy and i was like lens buddy it's an app show it for you guys here but as you can see, um, you can set how many photos you want them to take, how fast you want the timer to be, etc. And you basically just set it up and it's gonna count down for you. And it basically just takes your photos. I don't know if there's audio you can hear, but there you go. And you just know to pose, pose, pose. And then after, once you're done with all of that, you can just go through and you can like thumbs it up or thumbs down, whichever. And then you can just export that out and you have your favorite photos. So I love Lens Buddy. It's the best. I don't know why I didn't like think of this sooner, um, but so much easier than the remote because I feel like the remote would like die a lot and I had to buy extra batteries or it would get disconnected or this is just better. Just get a little tripod. I'll link my tripod down below. I'll link the all the apps down below so you know. And yeah, it's pretty um, self-explanatory. You just set it up and let it roll. Lens Buddy is the best. I love that app. I don't know how I didn't like have this before, but yes, use Lens Buddy, please, please, please. But I guess that's it. My camera battery is dying and I don't have time to like charge it up and film more. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will link everything down below. I try to make this short and sweet. I could go on and on about 
a lot more favorites that I have. Maybe I'll list some other honorable mentions down below. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. We can be friends. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.